But we begin tonight with residents on alert after a string of attacks in Philadelphia. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. Those attacks range from a violent robbery to an attempted rape. Our Natasha Brown is live in Center City with more on what you can do to protect yourself. Natasha? Well, you know, the reality is that anyone can fall victim to a crime at any point, sadly enough. But we talked to one martial arts instructor tonight who tells us there is power in learning self-defense. Images of violence are one thing, glimpses of crimes in progress, like this just released video of a violent robbery in Old City on April 8th, or this surveillance from an attempted rape a week ago in South Philly. But nothing speaks louder than the voice of a victim. I was running and someone just grabbed my behind on my back and they're like 13 years old, maybe 16 years old. So this has to stop. Kathy Morano's attack happened in broad daylight. She's one of many people gathered at this meeting at City Hall to discuss recent violent incidents along the Schuylkill River Trail. Runners, walkers, and bikers are learning how to protect themselves in a setting meant to be peaceful. Punches go through. Any kind of punch go through. Lawrence Whitaker has been practicing martial arts for 30 years. Basic blocking, that's it. He teaches self-defense classes at Urban Defense Center in Spring Garden and shows us the basics of protecting yourself. First rule of self-defense is our space. You want to make sure that you keep space between you and a person, at least three to four feet. The second rule is to evade or to block or to move or to get away from the person. The third is to be able to fight for your life and get out of sight. Whitaker, a South Philly native, knows all too well how tough city streets can be. And if we could train more people, more people would have more information then they won't be as scared. At least they have some options for their life. Whether it's finding an attacker's weaknesses. You go for the eyes, the throat, the groin, the shin and the feet. Or evading an attack. Circle, right to the eyes. Self-defense builds confidence at a time when you never know when you might become a victim. So a person that's trained is better than a person that's not trained. So our motto is better to have it, not need it, than to need it, not have it. Well, Lawrence tells us that more and more people are signing up for self-defense classes here in the city from what he has gathered. He also tells us he really takes pride in the fact that he can hear from former students who say they've actually used his tactics to save their own life. We're live at City Hall tonight. Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, some great tips, Natasha. Thank you.